Hello, and welcome to TechIt, and more specifically ComputerCraft, which is what the focus of these videos is going to be. I'm Samuel, and I'm going to be your guide through the magical world of ComputerCraft. So, the reason I'm doing these videos um, is because I think ComputerCraft is a really overlooked and underused mod for Minecraft. Um, I've really enjoyed it, I think it's uh, awesome, it's a great addition to the game. Uh, however, um, there's very few good tutorials um, or information on the internet or on YouTube specifically. Um, there's a couple of half decent videos, but they don't give a lot of information about how the basics work and don't have a really good build up um, or anything like that. Um, so, the purpose of this is to start from complete scratch, going from being a complete and utter noob not even knowing how to control the computer whatsoever to um, being able to write pretty decent extensive programs um, to control your turtles. So to get everyone a little bit excited um, I'm going to show you what the goal or the eventual goal of um, this series will be. Um, what you can see here is something I've built recently. Uh, what we have is we have ten turtles quarrying basically and it looks simple, um, but there's a little more to it than just one um, one quarry. It's um, at this time eight turtles being controlled by one computer up here. Um, so when a turtle starts up it asks the computer for a job and the computer tells the turtle, alright you can dig at this and this location uh, go for it. And the turtle starts digging and when it's filled up its uh, pack, its inventory with items, it returns back to base, it finds its way all the way back, drops off its items which get collected into a chest over here, and then it goes back to where it was and continues its progress until it has completed the quarry upon which it will return back again and ask the computer for the next job and it will go on to the next spot that is not taken yet. Um, so that's the eventual goal for this uh, for this series, this is what we're going for. Um, it's a nice elegant way to do your mining automatically. Um, you could of course build a quarry um, like over here, but uh, quarries are too easy, you know, it's boring. And once the quarry is there you just have to power it and it does everything automatically and it's not a lot of work. You know, this is a bit more fun, a little bit more educational. Um, and also quicker because you can put as many turtles as you like uh, to have them start digging. Whereas with a quarry, you know, you could put multiple quarries down, but it, so it gets very expensive very quickly, and the turtles are very cheap. Oh, and here's a little demonstration of one of the turtles returning home and dumping its items out. Blink. There we go. Right. So let's get started with the basics. We're going to not jump into building something like this straight away, we're going to start with crafting your first computer. And here we go. Oh, and I fail immediately because we're going to need glass panes. There we go. So, it's so one glass pane, redstone in the middle, smooth stone on the outside, and there you go, here's your console. Right, so let's pop that down, say here for example. Now, let's, um, to access it, right click and you get this. So for anyone who has never had anything to do with this before this is going to be a great tutorial because we're going to start from nothing. So the question is, here's the little blinking thing with the arrow, what can you do? You can press enter, you can type stuff, press enter and it says there's no such program. Okay. Uh, no idea what that means, that's okay. So basically you've probably um, had experience working on a regular computer before like Windows or Mac maybe even Linux, although if you're a Linux user you probably have uh, a better understanding of what this is all about. So on your computer, your normal computer, you have folders, right? Um, and in those folders you have files and programs and those little sorts kind of things. Um, and this is basically the same, except there's no graphical user interface so it's a little bit tricky to see what's going on at a given time. So right now when you started the computer, you're already in a folder. We're in the root folder, as it's called. 
um, which is the very very top folder. If you go all the way to the top folder, which spawns all the other folders under it, um, that's the root folder. And it's uh, depicted as slash in this system. This is the root folder. Um, and in that folder are other folders, which is where the whole system is. So how do we see these other folders, right? Because I don't know what they're called, I don't know how to access them. So the first command we're going to learn is ls, which is short for listing. And ls, if you type that and press enter, it will show you a list of all the folders in the current folder you're in. In this case there's only one, it's called ROM, uh, which stands for Read Only Memory, um, which means we can't write anything in there or edit anything in there, but that's okay for now. Um, so what we're going to do, uh, how do we access, how do we get into ROM? We can see it now, that's great. How do we get there um, and see what's inside ROM? Well, the next command we're going to learn is cd, and what you do to enter ROM is you type ROM. That's it. And there you go. Now we're in ROM. You can see on the left hand side in front of the arrow there's now just ROM so you can see where you are. And to see what's inside ROM we can use ls again. And there we go. There's a bunch more things in here. Um, so those are the first two commands to get around. You might be wondering how on earth do I get back? Um, cd dot dot the double dot means previous directory, so that's how you get back um, if you ever need to, which you will. And there you go, cd dot dot brings you back to the root directory where we were before. Now, let's say you want to do jump multiple um, multiple folders at once. So we want to go to ROM, but then we want to go to programs as well in one jump, in one command. What you can do is you type slash programs and there you go, we jump all the way to ROM programs. This also works with a dot dot. You can go dot dot to go to the previous folder and you can do slash and then dot dot again and we go all the way back to root folder. And you can also do clever things like cd dot dot slash help for example which will bring you back to ROM and then into help. There you go. So, um, apparently I did something wrong there. Oh well. <sighs> Am I in help? Well, this is a fail. Is expected. If anything weird happens, hold Control T down and it shuts down the computer. <laughs> you can reaccess it and everything's fine again. Right. I feel like a complete idiot now, but that's okay. So, um, what we eventually want to do on this computer is write our own programs, and to do that we need to create a file in which we're going to write our program. Um, the way to create a file is edit, and then you have to give the file a name. Now the file does not have to exist when you do this, um, so you can create a new file by typing edit, which is a bit not very intuitive at the start, but yeah, learn to live with it. Um, so you got edit, and then the file name, let's uh, call it new file. And there we go, now we're in the edit mode. Um, we're no longer in the, um, well, command mode or folder mode, whatever you'd like to call it. So we can't do cd or ls anymore, that does nothing now. So we, can't, we can only just type words and then save the file. So, as you can see in the bottom here, you can press Control to access the menu, which allows you to save the file or exit it. Um, so, right, let's just um, type something. There we go. And we can save it and exit. Now then, it's created this new file. If we type in ls, now you can see it, there's our new file. And we can go edit new file again and here's the file. So, and now we have a file, yay. Now it may sometimes happen that you created a file which um, you then think is completely useless and you want to get rid of. To get rid of it, delete, new file. Now we type ls again, 
it's gone. So there we go. And there's a couple more things I'm going to show you before I stop this video. Uh, let's create a new file again. Edit new file. You can call it anything, by the way. You don't have to call it new file. Um, so let's save that and exit. There it is. Now what you can also do um, is copy the file. So let's say you want to copy this file to a different location. You can do copy, new file, and then what you could do is say ROM and it would copy it there. But um, we can't do that because ROM is a read-only memory. Um, so we need somewhere else to copy it to. So let's create another folder. Now the way to create another folder is mkdir, which stands for make directory. Um, and this allows you to make a new folder. So let's call it um, uh, Mr. Folder. There we go. And see, now we have Mr. Folder, ROM, and new file uh, when we type ls. Now we can access uh, Mr. Folder if we type cd Mr. Folder. Now we're in there. It's empty, of course. So let's go back. Um, now let's copy new file into there. So copy new file to Mr. Folder. Enter. New file is still here. That's good. <laughs> now let's go to Mr. Folder. And there you go, new files also in Mr. Folder now. What you can also do when you're copying something, you can give it a new name while you're copying it. So let's do copy new file. And we'll copy it to Mr. Folder again. But now we do slash and we call it um, different. Right. So new files here, let's go to Mr. Folder again. And now we're going to press ls to see what's here. We'll see, we still have new files, we didn't delete that yet. And we still have, or well we still have, we have different now, which is the same file with a different name. So when you're copying files, you can also rename them. Um, I'm not sure whether I'd be allowed to delete entire folders on this, I haven't tried that yet. Delete Mr. Folder. No, that works, good. Right. So that's all the commands um, I wanted to show you. Just to recap, you've got ls to see all the files and folders in your current directory, cd, and then a directory to get to a certain folder, and edit to create a new file. Then there was delete to delete files and there was copy to copy files to a directory and you can also give them a new name if you want to and the last one make directory which creates a new folder on your system and there you go so that's the very basics of um, how to deal with the computer and mucking about with files, creating new files, moving them around, renaming them, and so forth. Thanks for watching. Um, the next video will go into disks and disk drives, that kind of fun stuff. Um, hope to see you then. Uh, thanks for watching.